All right, guys, 2010 Ford F-150 XLT 5.4 liter engine. We're gonna change the engine oil. The oil drain plug is on number 16. We'll go ahead and use the impact drill to remove the plug, at least get it loosened. Needs a little bit more love. Okay. Get the drain pan in the right position. And drop it in there, that's fine. Go ahead and get this oil drained. Once the oil's drained, reinstall the drain plug and we'll move on to the oil filter. All right guys, we got the oil drain plug cleaned, reinstalled and tightened. There is your oil filter accessible from the top. And if I can get this to work right here, you'll see where my little pointer is. That's a catch tray for your oil, right? So when you undo filter, the oil is gonna go on that catch tray and hopefully you put your pan in the right spot. You'll probably need a wrench to undo your oil filter, uh, an oil wrench. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you don't have one. Uh, otherwise, um, I hand tighten my oil filters and this should come off quite easily. So let's go ahead and get the oil filter off, put a new one on. All right guys, so the oil you wanna use on your Ford uh, 5.4 liter is 5W20 weight oil. It's important that you use the 520 because the cam phasers need that oil weight in order to work properly. As your oil degrades and gets dirty, you may be having cam sensor uh, codes pop up because the oil's dirty and the cam sense, the cam phasers need essentially clean and consistent uh, oil. So 520, we're using Valvoline, full synthetic, high mileage because we have 185,000 miles on the engine. Well, we probably have 130,000 miles on the engine because I replaced it at 50,000 when it blew up, but it's still a high mileage engine. For the oil filter, we're using the Mobile One Extended Performance, protects up to one year, 20,000 miles. Part number is M1. 210A. I'll put a link in the description as well. These are affiliate links on Amazon, so I make a couple panties if you buy something. So, guys, what we're gonna do is I got the high or extended mileage filters because these are work trucks. Sometimes we go over the reckon, actually, probably all the time we go over the recommended specs for oil changes. So, anything extra we can do saves money right sucks replacing an engine at 50,000 miles but that's actually a ford issue so guys i've always been taught to basically prime the oil filter right so we're gonna fill it up and we're gonna let the filter absorb all the oil and when we put it on we'll fill it like halfway up so we don't lose too much oil but what happens is is it will prevent somewhat of a dry start when the oil, when the engine starts back up after an oil change. I'm not sure how you know much of a difference it really makes, but if a 30-year mechanic tells you to prime the oil filter, you know he knows more than I do, right? So we're pretty good here. Oil filter is half full of oil, and the filter isn't absorbing any more of it. So let's go ahead. We'll get this oil filter installed, and I'll bring you back and when we top off the oil. And that's essentially what you do on an oil change. Pretty straightforward. Jack the truck up, undo the plug. It's a number 16. Drain the oil, remove the filter, place the filter, reinstall the plug, lower the truck, fill it with oil, make sure it's at its right, you know, properly topped off, and then drive it. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope it helps some of you if you have questions on how to change the oil or what type of oil to use, oil filter, etc. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, and share if you like the content, and I'll see you on the next one.